A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. When the days were completed for their purification according to the law of Moses, Joseph and Mary took Jesus up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. Just as it is written in the law of the Lord, every male that opens the womb shall be consecrated to the Lord, and to offer the sacrifice of a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons, in accordance with the dictate in the law of the Lord. Now, there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. This man was righteous and devout, awaiting the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was upon him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he should not see death before he had seen the Christ of the Lord. He came in the Spirit into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to perform the custom of the law in regard to him, he took him into his arms and blessed God, saying, Now, Master, you may let your servant go in peace, according to your word, for my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared in the sight of all the peoples, a light for revelation to the Gentiles, and glory for your people. Israel. The child's father and mother were amazed at what was said about him. And Simeon blessed them and said to Mary his mother, Behold, this child is destined for the fall and rise of many in Israel, and to be a sign that will be contradicted, and you yourself a sword will pierce, so that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. The Gospel of the Lord my eyes have seen. The presentation of Jesus in the temple shows the obedience and fidelity of his parents Joseph and Mary to the Torah that requires the purification of a mother within 40 days after childbirth and the presentation or redemption of the firstborn son. Their obedience to the law also shows their obedience to God who has chosen them to nurture Jesus. The presentation also marks the introduction or manifestation of the child Jesus not just to the Jewish community but also symbolically to the whole of humanity. As Simeon declares, Jesus will be a revelation to the Gentiles and the glory of God's people Israel. Furthermore, his presentation enkindles the fire of hope in people's hearts that the long-awaited Messiah has finally come. 